So over the last two months, South Africa has been in a, a very low uh, incidence period in South Africa, so the lowest we've had since the start of the pandemic. We were seeing positivity rates in Joburg of about 0.3%, so very few positive cases. But over the course of two weeks, that positivity rate went up to 16%, and we've never seen such a dramatic increase in positivity rate at the start of what we uh, expect to be a wave. So the new variant of SARS-CoV-2 Omnicron uh, was first uh, identified at Lancet Laboratories in South Africa. Fortunately with SARS-CoV-2, by detecting more than one gene target, even if one is lost because of mutations in that target, we are so confident in being able to pick up the positives. But that's the first thing, is to make sure your tests are working properly and then to prepare ourselves for an increase in test numbers. So with uh, increased awareness again of a new variant and with an increase in infections, we expect our test numbers to go up. And also with that goes a lot of pressure to get those results out as quickly as possible because of anxiety on the part of patients and doctors and also because of an increase in hospitalized patients. So far we have noted that it does seem to have an infectious advantage as we're seeing our positivity rates start to pick up quite dramatically over the last two to three weeks. Uh, but as yet, uh, it's too early to say whether uh, it has any ability to evade immune responses or whether it causes more severe disease. We're hopeful that the answer to both those questions will be no, but time will tell. Kyogen. Sample to Insight.